All right, pound post Yosh, let's do it. Back to the commentary. It's a weird looking Yoshi though. I did like the fluff and puffin one. Fanciful fluff and feathers. Everything's free. Fall into a prit? No problems. Probably gonna help in this rainbow level. Yoshi! Oh, I missed this happiness. I need it too, man. I'm kind of angry and depressed all at once here. Back to the original Yoshi's Woolly World theme. Oh, these dudes! Yoshi's Island. There's definitely going to be some stuff hidden vertically. Well, this one's pretty easy. Light blue, I love these blue Yoshis, man. I'm sure we're going to get a lot in the snow level. I remember Nintendo Capri Sun. I don't remember what world is the snow one, but... So yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game. Actually, for you guys, it probably hasn't been very long. Because I did get a lot recorded before I went away to my best friend's wedding, which was actually a lot of fun. I was kind of depressed the first day. I think I was just tired and cranky from travel. Yeah, fall into a pit. Oh, what are you doing, delivering Shy Guys? But yeah, everybody started coming for the rehearsal dinner and everything and it was like my old high school group of friends again all back together yeah. it was an Indian wedding a fusion wedding and that was my first time being in one of those and it was actually pretty interesting I enjoyed it lots of dancing which is weird I'm not a dancing kind of guy I'm very high anxiety usually what do we got here get up there Yosh but yeah, it was pretty interesting. When you got a whole family of awkward white dudes that are embarrassed about it, doing it all together, it's not so bad. So I had fun, and the alcohol was free, so that always helps. But yeah. I have mixed feelings, and I knew this was going to happen. Where I, I was going to have a great time seeing these friends again, and then I was going to come back, and the depression was going to blow up in my face. And it actually took a while. I was on cloud nine. I was doing great. Like three days later, I saw my counselor and I had a great session with her and I was like super happy and had all these plans. And then just randomly it did end up hitting me and like I spent the whole day in bed. I don't know. And recently I've been watching a lot of Bill Burr comedy videos and I can relate to that man's anger, even though a lot of it's probably an act. Like, he's not 100% serious with all the stuff he says, but it also does make a lot of sense. I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, what do we got going on here? Let's see if I can spit this thing. Oh, I accidentally swallowed it. Uh-oh. Timed! Uh-oh! Stay on the cotton balls. Will the clouds get it? Oh, what? No! Dang it! That was something, too. Urgh. Unacceptable. Alright, watch your jumps. It's the, like there's a weird one. Oh, you fell already! Faster! Must go faster, must go fast. You screwed up again. Anger sharks! Don't get mad, get glad. Because they are one happy trash bag. It makes no sense. Anyway, we're going to finish the level. Because there's a transformation door and that slightly excites me. What do we get this time? And, yeah, I'll save the stress later. I like having something to look forward to that's gonna disappoint me. <laughs> anyway, Yoshi, make me happy with your happiness. Oh, he's a plane! Sky Pop Yoshi, soar gracefully through the skies and shoot things. Wait, is this like Gradius? Oh, this is an awesome. Thank you, Yoshi. I can always count on you to cheer me up. This is fantastic, man. I wouldn't mind an entire game like this. 
Yeah, don't forget those yarns. At least we're getting those. There's probably a sunflower that I missed. <laughs> I love those shy guys. If I commentated the previous part, there was a guy in that one fortress level that was swinging his little needle thing. I don't know, it just looked funny. He was really going to town swinging it. To the beat of the music, too, it seemed like. I want to be that shy guy. That's the thing, you just gotta be happy no matter what. The world's always gonna suck. And it's only if you pay attention to the suckiness that it really screws up everything. So if you don't pay attention to it... Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Yeah, I missed a sunflower. But at least I know where it is. Buggerling pop. Okay, I thought there might be something hidden. In that long vertical shaft. Pound post Yoshi, taking him to pound town. <laughs> it's so stupid. Dude. Ah. This is gonna be the last yarn, probably. I love these little propeller guys. Is this tricky, or is it really just collect the gems? Oh, it's a flower, okay. This is a very strange room, but I like it. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Little jump noises. Sometimes it can be annoying. I was starting to get annoyed in that bubble fortress level because every two seconds Yoshi's like, Rrrr! and after a while you're just like, can't you at least change the pitch or something every once in a while so it's not the same thing? But it's still Yoshi. He's still happy and cute. And we got a new Yosh. It's probably gonna be one of these seagull things. Well, I don't know. It's red. Maybe it's Rainbow Yoshi. Oh, there's something down there. Well, maybe not, though. The camera angle changed. Nah, they wouldn't do that. I missed. Okay, now to get stressed out going for that flower I missed. Or I could put it off. I'll probably get it, though. Instead of doing it all at the end. So close. Gotta see the Yoshi. Hey, more stamps for the Miiverse that doesn't exist anymore. I like the little light blue. What do we get? What is that? Rainbow? Cotton candy Yoshi. All right. I like him. And this is the fortress, and... Yeah, I'll have to get this thing. So we get the special level later. Come on, man. Don't screw it up. You're screwing it up. There we go. And I got a bonus game! This is new, too. What is this? Oh, this one seems like it would be really easy. Oh. I think I could have routed that a little bit better, but not so bad. Oh, that screwed it up. Oh, no. All right. Okay, Cotton Candy Yosh, Miss Cluck the Insincere's Castle. Uh, probably the hidden thing that we got in my non-commentated episode. Alright, oh, Bullet Bill stuff. I do slightly remember this from Nintendo Capri Sun. I think you can walk on the little steam trail. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Although I don't think it matters. This one clearly does, though. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this castle. I like these kinds of mechanics. In Super Mario Maker, I made so many levels that involve uh, bullet bill jumping across like huge horizontal gaps. I don't know why that's a fun mechanic to me. 
Oh, I missed some gems. Ah, they're baby gems. I don't care. It's just a wee little baby. But yeah, so the wedding was good. I don't know when I'm gonna see those same friends again. It's just me and one other guy of that whole groomsman group that have yet to be married. And I honestly don't think I'm ever gonna get married. Oh, that base, dude. Speaking of the base, the base in the post pound level was amazing. I actually wrote a review of this game already, and I am planning on doing a review video. And I stand by my opinion that this is the greatest Yoshi game I've ever played. That probably exists. I don't know how the Switch one's gonna be in comparison, but... The music is one of the things that has impressed me the most, but knitting the, the Yoshis is definitely awesome. Whoops. You can't apparently spit things straight up. What is this thing? Oh, I see what we gotta do. Bounce. Get over here, chicken egg thing. Eggshell. Oh, it's probably limited chances, okay. Interesting. Yeah, this hidden, see all hidden items thing is super useful. I knew it would be. Kind of breaks the game, but I appreciate it. The older I get, the more I enjoy these casual games. I think when you're younger and into all the hardcore games, wait, shut up, base time. I love it, man. It's that one note that rings out a little longer than the rest. It's so low and the tone is perfect. It's weird. You would think as a guy you would be more attracted to high-pitched things because that's like the female tonation, right? I don't know. How do you... Oh, I see. They did some foreground business here. Interesting. Oh, that's going to be challenging if that becomes more prevalent throughout this game. And I missed a flower. Huh. I don't even know where that could have been. I don't I don't re recall passing anything that seemed suspicious. <laughs> this stuff though, there's something up there above the chicken. So how do we do this? I'll take the hit. Get up there, Yosh. Yes. Okay, well, here's a flower, but it's not the one I missed because this is further ahead in the level. Huh. Gonna have to revisit this one, too, I suppose. I knew this was gonna be a thing. Okay, I see what we gotta do. Oh, thanks! That was like a weird damage boost. Oh, I see. These little yarn platforms are probably just there for anybody who accidentally ground pounds through all the sponginess. It's like three spots where you're safe instead of dying. Nothing hidden. That badge would have showed it. Whoa, what is going on with the camera? It's like a fish eye lens almost. Oh, this is neat though. I really. Uh oh. Watch out for the chicken. And don't kill the bullet! Oh, good. There's another one. Okay, let's focus. This is the kind of gameplay mechanics of platformers that I enjoy. This is really awesome. It kind of reminds me of Mario Odyssey, too. Just like the cylindrical spinning of the background. But of course... Well, actually, you can't say Mario Odyssey wasn't a thought. It was probably in development. <laughs> yes, at least we got the Yoshi. It's probably going to be Chicken Yoshi or something. 
That glowing of the hidden walls is a little bit broken as well. When you have this badge active. All right, boss time. Miss Cluck, was it? The insincere. How rude, wasn't that the catchphrase of the full house girl? Yeah, it was the middle one, because there was the Stephanie, right? Stephanie was the middle child. I always thought she was kind of attractive as a kid. She's still really attractive to this day, too. Oh, this music, dude. This game. I did look up the composer. There's primarily one guy. And there was one other dude who only did like the little fanfare musics here and there. But it was the same guy behind Goemon and Castlevania who composed everything else for this game. Pretty much every single stage. This song is awesome. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Get over here, I see your little thing. What are you doing? There we go. But yeah, going on. It's always had fantastic music in Castlevania. There's no uh, contest there. Everybody knows. Especially with Smash Brothers Ultimate revealing Simon and Richter. They even highlighted that the music team was so excited. And there was like... Bunch of Castlevania songs coming in that game. Whoa, what are you doing? Get back here! That final one was a little scary. He almost got away. Well, there you go. I gotta go back for that sunflower, though, so we could do the special stage. like Yoshi's tongue. Maybe you can grab stuff with his tongue. Like collectibles. Miss Cluck the Yoshi. Alright. Oh yeah, we got a new world too. World 4 already. I think there's only 6 worlds. Oh, look at this place. Very green. I like green. All right, Miss Cluck, let's go find that flower. Wait a s- Really? That should be it, right? Yep, special stage. A bullet bill, a giant bullet bill. Is that Bonsai Bill? Or Bonsai Will? No, Woolet Bills. I knew it was gonna be some kind of a pun. Uh, hmm, that would be cheating, I think. Let's go legitimate. Yoshi. Yoshi! Oh, this amazing song again, too. Seriously, man, I'm gonna, like, tweet this guy. Not that Twitter means anything, but I am highly impressed by the composer. And, like, almost every song of this game has... Except for that Egyptian one, which actually, that was one of the levels that the other composer did. The guy who didn't do going on and Castlevania stuff. I mean, no offense to that guy. I respect anybody who can do anything musical. Oh, jeez, okay. Keep moving. Oh, this is an awesome level. Ah, I had something in my mouth. It slowed me down. Go, Yoshi. Oh, no. I screwed it up. There's no catching up to this thing. Okay, go, 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 go. No, what do you think? You gotta use an egg. Okay. 
At least this song is <laughs> the furthest thing from annoying and frustrating, so... Constant failures actually is not so bad for once. Yes, Blue Yoshi! Go, little donut things! Man, those things are annoying. Uh-oh. Yes, more blue! What the heck is that thing? And why is it there? Wait, there's something behind him. Too late. Okay, you can stun them. I missed something on that other guy then, definitely. Holy... Go. No, you needed to ground pound! You're going too slow. You're dead. <laughs> yes. No, don't kill the thing! Is there another one? Probably not. Sorry, Yosh. I think this is the most recent time I've screwed up a bunch of times back to back in a video game and I actually don't care. This game is way too happy. With Phenomenal music. You know how it's like when they say a little kid is cranky, it usually means he's hungry? Purple! Yes! These guys make a weird noise with me. Yeah, when little kids are cranky, you usually feed them and then they're okay. I think for me, it's just play me a good song. Ground pound, don't forget. Go! Smack them! Move it, Fox! This level is really fun. What the heck is that? Porygon? <laughs> oh, it's a weird... Get it! Go! It's gonna close you in! Is that it? It is? Wow, that was an awesome level. I think I, I took a few hits, though, so... And I got the bonus game. Good job, Miss Cluck the Yosh. <laughs> ah, it's good to be playing this game again. It feels like it's been a while. Uh, it's been about a week for me. More than a week, actually. We got the Yosh, though. We skipped special stage two. The first one was... Oh, it's these guys. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, the first one was, uh... Wii U Deluxe Yoshi. I think I do remember every single special stage as a Nintendo console Yoshi. So, if... It goes backwards like that. World 2 is probably Wii Yoshi. Oh, I got that last second. Which means this one is going to be GameCube Yoshi. I can't wait for N64 Yoshi. Oh, it totally is GameCube too. Oh, I got to get a closer look at this guy. Let's bring him to the tent. Oh, those little dinosaur things are the same color as the buttons on the C-Stick. That's awesome. And his chest is the controller port. Rubber! Oh, look at that. So awesome. Anyway, next time we go on to World 4, I suppose. See you guys then.